Okay. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining in. Uh, this is the series of success stories that we keep conducting. And today we have with us Navya. Navya has done her MTech in Tripoli. That means she is from non IT background. And a lot of people keep telling this that I am from non IT background. Will I be able to get into this field of data science, so on and so forth? Now we have a live example in terms of Navya, right? And despite being from non IT background, despite being from non math, or not non-stat background, she could get into this field of data science. That means she has put in a lot of effort, a lot of hard work, no doubt about that. So let us hear from Navya directly. Uh, Navya, how was it that you, you transitioned from being in non-IT and got into data science, which people assume that it's all about IT? like generally i mean it was initially it was my thought like you know that it is something very like you know impossible and first step is like i would say choosing the right uh like you know path like uh, correct people to coach you like you know the institute like choosing the right institute the thing is that when you have experience when you are having when you're having four to five experience, you can't go and do the PG again in data science or you can't go and do two, spend two or three years in learning it. We have to do it in minimum time. So I think the uh, best thing which I did is enrolling in 360 digit MC. I would say that Sharad sir was my coach. I, I do remember it was like uh, more than one year, but I do remember like actually. So Sharad sir was my coach and uh, I remember the assignments which I did every day. Like I just took one year off. I kept everything aside and I started from scratch. From scratch, I mean Python from scratch and data science from scratch. And that is one thing. I mean, we need to put a lot of dedication. And at the same time, uh, like I have, I have uh, known like some people, some of my friends who enrolled in some other institutes. But the difference is that I would say in 360 digit MD, we are provided weekly assignments and it's a must to do it. That is actually a plus point. Most of the people like from other institute, they just skip it because mm -hmm. there's no hard stop. Like you can do it anytime you have the time. But here it is like you complete the week, you complete assignment and then you will be able to do the next week's ass assignment. It's like step by step process. So I really liked it. Like uh, to be honest, like it is the best thing I have ever did. Wonderful. And I would say it was Thank like good so journey. Wonderful. And and Navya, I believe you also worked on a few projects, right? Through mm -hmm. Innovator Tricks. How was your journey like on those projects and how did it actually help you? So I remember working on recommendation systems. So it was a team of five or six members and uh, uh, like it was like I would say almost similar to working in live uh, projects actually like we get to code on our own we get to do everything on our own we get to discuss with our peers like you know what is the what is good what is best it was good actually like you know from starting from if i remember we started from the data and we created like i would say app using wonderful. class wonderful yeah it so was that good. is what is like lacking a, basically uh, people are uh, you know unable to deploy the models in production so that's one key thing and another one, say. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And one final question is: a lot of people are getting trained through us, or just completed their training. For them, what would your advice be, Navya, on how should they get into this field of data science? What would your suggestion be? So my first suggestion is that I mean this is compulsory. People just skip the assignments, if I remember. So first thing is they have to complete the assignment. I know it is tough. It is not easy for me when I started initially, but it is the first thing everyone should do and coding should be done on their own. Like they shouldn't copy. Like they have mm. to think it actually. Most people don't do it, but that is the first step. What happens is over the span of three or four months, once we complete all those assignments, we know how to code on our own, like how to write a logic. After that, uh, I would say that attempting hackathons or like you know um just going to the data science uh, websites who who host hackathons like 
we have a lot of companies who host hackathons and you know some of them have, like actually hired actually i got hired uh, by uh, you know like in that process only so wow, hackathon wonderful. i was like hired mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so Very hackathons good. are really helpful wonderful so nice to know yeah uh, so there you go friends directly you are listening from navya who is now working as a data scientist the suggestions that navya is giving you all is that please work on assignments don't push it to the fag end of the project or your training and second thing is after that do participate in hackathons ensure that you practice well and the third point is uh, which navya has told is write code on your own don't copy it from elsewhere right that will ensure that you start using your you know intellectual property your brain in terms of writing the code yeah thank you thank you so much navya for your time and it means a lot i'm sure you will scale up your in your career and you'll do extremely well thank you so much thanks thanks very much thank you bye